Well, welcome back to now number three video in One Chronicles. And this one's titled, Just Do It. I know it sounds like a bit of a slogan uh, for a shoe a maker, but it's actually not. And we look at One Chronicles chapter eight, verse 20. And you see at this point in his life, later in life, David still had great vision and plans. Do you have great vision and plans or are you ready to drift off over the horizon? You know, at 75, uh, God's still birthing vision and dreams about ways we can help people, the way we can support people, encourage, and, and any number of things that we can do. And David wanted to build a temple in honor of God. But God said, no, um, I don't want you to do that. Solomon, your son, will be the one that will build it. So David set about all the preparations ready for the time he departed, and Solomon would actually build the temple. Um, and Solomon was young, and he was intimidated at the prospect of building such a, a great building. And if you read, you know, those chapters of this, uh, this building that he had to build. But his father said, forget fear. God is bigger than opposition. That's going to come. Forget fear because God is be bigger than the opposition that will come. And you need to remember that in your business and your church and your life, that there's always going to be opposition. People disagree. People you know, want to sue you. It can be any number of things. I've seen it many times. And it's easy for fear to get in, but we've got to ask ourselves who's in control. And David got busy to do his part and got it ready, and then God did the rest. Do you believe it, that if you do your part, you move forward, you do what you can, that God will do the rest? If you believe that, then you're going to see some miracles happen. Maybe, you know, you are aware of the changes you need to make in your business, in your career, in your marriage. I don't mean leave it. In your business, in your church, in your health, in your finances, or even in your attitudes or emotions, the way you respond to people, the way you respond to people in your family, those you work with, those you meet every day. And David said, be strong. And this is in verse 20, 1 Chronicles 28. Be strong, do the work. Don't be afraid or discouraged, for God is with you. And that's what I want to leave you with. Don't be strong, do the work. Don't be afraid or discouraged, for God is with you. So if you need to make a change for a better relationship, to move the business forward, to take fear out of the equation, get around some people that are going to be positive and encourage you, and leave the rest to God.